an airport under attack by an armed man who reportedly had a history with the FBI. We have two photos tonight of the suspected gunman, including one on the right you see from the military. Police say the suspect removed this gun from a checked bag and opened fire on people in the baggage area of the airport. The suspect may have ties to the New York area. This is a live picture from outside a home in Union City, New Jersey, and uh, of course, right across the Hudson River from Manhattan. We have team coverage. We're going to start with CBS 2's Jessica Moore live in the newsroom. Jessica? Well, Dana, we just got some new information about what may have sparked the violence today. Federal law enforcement officials tell us the suspect got into some kind of argument on one of two flights from Alaska to Florida. They reiterate there is no connection to terrorism. Regardless of the motive, the outcome is the same. Five people killed, eight others wounded, and the investigation continues. We have multiple people down. We need rescue code three. And also I need some two units on the outside of lower level two to block it off. Passengers at Fort Lauderdale International Airport run onto the tarmac after hearing reports of an active shooter inside the baggage claim of Terminal 2. We had just passed the uh, checking gate when all of a sudden everybody just started running. I grabbed uh, our kids and we took off running down the ramp. Uh, told the, the um, uh, uh, flight attendant to let us off the tarmac. We ran out onto the tarmac to uh, hide behind some luggage carts. Police say around 1.30 Friday afternoon, 26-year-old Esteban Santiago opened fire, killing five people and injuring eight more. Everybody started running out of Terminal 1, out of the rental car place. Some lady was yelling for help. Got in the garage, so I just ran. Sources tell CBS News Santiago got this gun from his checked bag, loaded it in the bathroom, and started shooting. Passengers ran outside as SWAT teams evacuated the terminals and shut down the airport. Within minutes, Santiago was in custody. We have uh, the shooter in custody. Uh, he's uh, unharmed. No law enforcement fired any shots. The subject is being interviewed by a team of FBI agents. Investigators say Santiago flew from Alaska to Fort Lauderdale, has ties to New Jersey, and was carrying a military ID when he was arrested. Florida Governor Rick Scott spoke about the shooting just a few minutes ago. Whoever is responsible will be held accountable to the full extent of the law. So let me repeat this. The state of Florida, the citizens of Florida, law enforcement in this state will not tolerate evil acts. Sources tell CBS News a man matching Santiago's description walked into the FBI offices in Anchorage two months ago saying that the government was forcing him to watch ISIS videos. Uh, agents were so concerned they actually sent him to a mental hospital. Also just coming into our newsroom, the AP is reporting Santiago's brother says that the accused shooter was receiving psychological treatment in Alaska and says his brother had served in the National Guard. Live in the newsroom, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News.